In this lesson, we're going to talk more about algorithms and how we can learn how to use them and how to create them. An algorithm is simply a step-by-step -step description of how to do something, defining the instructions needed and also where information is needed and how that information would be used. In computer science as well as mathematics, algorithms are often written abstractly, utilising variables in place of specific numbers. Computer programs are built to solve a specific problem or meet a specific need, so designing an algorithm usually starts with a problem that needs to be solved. When thinking about a computer program, it's often a problem that needs to be solved in an automated or partially automated way, usually for a problem that's too large or too hard to solve by hand. Once you have identified your problem, the process of algorithm design then involves identifying what information is needed to solve the problem, and then also filtering out any information that might be available but is not actually needed. The next step is breaking down the problem or decomposing it into more manageable steps. One of the interesting aspects of the software designer's job is that they want to be able to reuse algorithms that they create. They don't want to have to start each new software design from scratch. So algorithm design often looks for part of the algorithm that can be generalised and then used again in other problems. We will come back to this concept later, but in the rest of this lesson we will focus on examples of algorithms and example activities that can be used to teach algorithm design in the classroom. You can think of an algorithm as being very similar to a recipe. A recipe involves a list of ingredients and the different steps you need to undertake to prepare and cook your food. This is similar to the data that is needed and the algorithm that is used in computational thinking. When you decide you want to make a particular recipe for dinner, you first start by looking it up in a cookbook or thinking about what ingredients you need, identifying what you already have in your fridge and what you need to buy and then working out what shops you need to go to in order to buy those extra ingredients. Once you have all of your ingredients, you then start your recipe or your algorithm, following those steps one by one and using your ingredients as they are needed in order to produce your dinner or the outcome of your algorithm.